Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing well today. And all going well, this will be my final key for Keystone Master on this character in Season 2. Uh, so, those of you that were around on the channel in Season 1 know that my goal for Season 2 was to get Keystone Master on every class. Um, so, and potentially even take this further in Season 3 and go for Keystone Master on every spec and, and even further into season four and potentially even go for keystone hero on multiple specs or all of them if i'm that insane um so yeah it's uh this is literally we're a couple of weeks in the, the we still haven't had the uh the crucible or whatever it's called for set pieces so there's still quite a lot of the season left and we're just about to hit our first one my pally is currently 430 eye level which uh, I mean, I can easily hit, if I wanted to grind this week and get all the upgrades done, it's very realistic that I could hit, like, 434 eye level, I think. Um, so, we're in a pretty good spot at the moment. Um, we're doing decent damage, as you can see. I've got it set to overall at the moment, um, but, I mean, I might just leave it on that, to be honest. We haven't had a single incorporeal spawn. So, Rep Pally, pretty good this week at Incorporeal. I'm probably not saying that right, but never mind. Um, yeah, pretty good. Uh, just because of uh, Repentance. Obviously, we have Hodge as well. So, got quite a lot of options. Ah, one literally just spawned. Hilarious. So, Bracken Hides. If I've timed this right, like I said, we should get Keystone uh, Master. Uh, yeah, Keystone Master in this run. Um, I've kind of left it for this dungeon because rep pallies are renownably good in this dungeon um especially this week like we just have an answer to pretty much everything which is nice uh tank seems to be getting beaten up a little bit we have the debuff on us that needs healing to 100 percent, but looks like they got that covered and boom ah so, as soon as this spawns, going to get repent on that. Oh, someone else got it as well. I mean, we used every CC under the sun there. Uh, so, I have got this Pocket Anvil. I really, really enjoy it. And I think it's so good in Mythic Plus, just being able to keep it up for, like, the whole dungeon. I mean, it's probably going to drop here. Unless I can really quickly hit these. Oh, I did as well. I kept it up. Nice. Um, yeah, like you, we have so much time to like keep pulling to maintain the buff that you pretty much have it up all of the dungeon, which is pretty fun, pretty nice. Uh, big damage here. So as you can see, I mean, what have we got in the group at the moment? Marksman Hunter, slightly better geared than me, but not much in it. Um, obviously, one thing for people to note at the moment, he does have his four set. I don't. Um, that's actually quite big. So, incorporeal coming in, we're going to get the repent. I'm pretty much just ignoring shades, they're, they're completely irrelevant. Uh, we also have a boomy that's doing very little damage um, with his three set. Okay. So, going into this pack, I mean, I'm pulling in a second. Ooh, okay. Big pull? Big pull. Can get the Shield of Vengeance and the um, Blessing of uh, Sack on him. Into the Anvil Strikes, we want as many stacks as possible. Divine Toll, we're using pretty much everything here. I might even blow a pot on this. I don't really want to, I'd rather save it for the boss, but I think I'd rather just get this dead. So he has... Oh, my cleanse macro isn't working, apparently. That's not ideal to find out at this point. Get my cleanse on myself. And boom. It actually went pretty well. Lots of shades just to keep padding on, which is pretty nice. I imagine shades will probably be the thing I do the most damage to in this run. I'm going to throw a little heal out there. I do throw probably too many Word of Glories in these runs. Um... It's it's the mindset of, yes, I want to be top DPS, of course, 
but I'd also rather get the key done. And sometimes throwing a heal out just keeps people alive, keeps people happy. It's just there's no reason to risk it, really. Now, that should despawn. Yeah, it did. I'm going to go and help this dude around here. So, Anvil Strike into the Divine's Hole. Doing pretty nice damage so far. 144k overall. A little bit shocked that this Boomy is doing next to no damage. I hope he's going to destroy the boss. I mean, if he's running a single target spec, it's it's kind of one of those things, right? You, you're not that worried about it, but we'll see. So next spec after this, or next class after this, I'm actually not sure. So I said I would potentially do a Voker, um, and that's still very high on the list. But uh, I'm really not sure. Um, so if people have, like, an idea or a spec that they'd particularly like me to try and play or, or like get to Keystone Master next, please let me know because I, I really don't know what the next one is going to be. And like I said, it's kind of irrelevant because I'm going to get them all there eventually. So, so again, use a Shield of Vengeance, Shield of Sec, uh, Blessing of Sec combo. Oh, that's going to hurt. I'm actually just going to bubble this. Being the only melee, you can do this and, and it's not going to grief your group too much. There is an argument to say I should be single target in these because once one dead, the rest of them get easier, but I'd rather just cleave to be honest. Like, It's not that high of a key that we should have to worry about like single target nuking one. Uh, is he going to absorb this? Oh, we did it on the same one. That's bad. I'm going to get the next kick on this incorporeal then. I am going to call this something different every time, by the way, just so people know. I've got nothing else for this one. I hope someone else gets it. Nice. It despawned anyway. They're getting quite... Uh, I'm doing quite a lot of damage, these. It's probably the worst boss in here, actually. Like... The Hunter boss is very easy. The Tree boss is pretty easy, especially like with decent AoE DPS, you just kill the slimes. Last boss, as long as you focus the totems, it's not too bad, although it is a slight DPS race. I'll be interested to see where the overall damage sits after this. Uh, at the moment, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be leading the damage this entire run. I've just noticed that the Boomy and the Hunter are in the same guild. That says probably what I need to know about this run. And chop, chop, chop. It's one of the best animations, Wake of Ashes. So, sitting at top still, which is pretty nice. 128k overall. Off to the first boss. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Apparently my anvil fell off. Okay, didn't realise. Try and get that interrupt. Chop, chop, chop. Wake of ashes. Every time I do it, like it just looks so cool. I've really enjoyed the Pally. In fact, I'm a little bit gutted that I will be starting to play something else. Like, I will eventually push on the Pally again a little bit more, but um, and it will remain my main for this season, but um, I obviously I've set myself this challenge. I want to kind of get as many classes, or all of the classes, to, to Keystone Master. Uh, so it's going to be a bit sad, actually, playing anything else, because I've really, really enjoyed the rep. So we're getting... One of these duty boys up. Nice little trap there. Run out for the stomp. Another anvil. And we're nearly back up to five stacks. I'm guessing it fell off between us running to the boss, but I didn't notice. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. 
Yeah, so aside from this, uh, very much looking forward to Diablo 4. That'll be kind of the next thing I start playing as well. Um, we'll be doing a lot of content on that starting, obviously, next week now, I believe, which is pretty fun. Um, I Like... I haven't really got much I can do to help out here, except maybe heal. I'm trying to get as many cleanses as possible. Get the interrupt on Necroic Breath. There's a totem coming up. Can I stun the totems? No. We'll just have to burst it down. That goes on everyone? That's horrible. Uh, yeah, so not running a camera at the moment. Um, I am on the new laptop, and actually it has got a nice camera, so I will be trying to use it as much as possible. But I'll be honest, it's just too damn hot at the moment. Like, um, So, yeah, I just don't want to have a camera on because it's horrible. I don't deal with heat very well, and it does look like we're going to start getting some heat in the UK, which you know, I'm going to have to deal with at some point, but I prefer to delay that as much as possible start having to record in the morning or like late in the evening when it cools down Ooh, big pull lots of lots of the damages get shield of vengeance up on him i'm focusing the uh tree for the necrotic breath we don't want that to go off oh this is going to be a spicy pull actually I'm actually just going to pot here as well. Did I use a pot on the first boss? I'm not sure, actually. Dispel myself. My, I will always be the first target I dispel because I can recover a lot of situations by myself. Um, it will typically it will typically be me, the tank, then the healer in that order. That I dispel. Oh, I got stunned again. I'm bad. I'm so bad. So bad. Are we going to kill this totem or is everyone going to get withering again? Double tree. Are we not taking them? Uh, again, I know the boss is just around the corner, but I am actually just going to cool down these because really don't want them to last very long. I'm going to worry about cross in terms of my interrupt. Happy days. Someone else got the other one. Isn't it great when a plan comes together? So I don't think we've actually reset combat since the last boss so i am interested to see just how much like it changes when it updates in a second um but yeah so i've um oh the other thing i also got i forgot to record it i actually got ahead of the curve this week as well uh Sarkareth, this raid has been amazing i've thoroughly enjoyed it and i don't enjoy raiding very much in wow anymore um, this raid has been fantastic. Uh, so interested to hear what your thoughts are in the raid. Have you tried it? What's your progression? All that sort of stuff. I'm really genuinely interested to hear because I think it's probably the best raid that they've done in a long time. Um, and I'm not sure if that's just me being biased, but I don't know. Okay. So I'm actually going to go and help these. There we go. Grasping vines. Use freedom on the tank as well. Although I think he's staying in. He is. I think he kills him, right? If it goes all the way through. I was a little bit too close there. And boom. Uh, not playing my rotation on this particularly well, but...
yeah, not playing particularly well single target, but I feel like I played well AOE so far. Should definitely be using uh, Hammer of Wrath more single target. Mm, do we not need someone to get eaten? Okay, someone is getting eaten. Ooh, why would you turn that so much? That's annoying. So I'm going to get eaten next uh, because I have bubble, so it literally just makes no difference. Again, easy kills. Going to just delay my final reckoning for a couple of seconds because for some reason it's desynced my wings. There it is. Yeah, if he does it again, I'm going to get myself eaten. Uh, I'm going to save my anvil here. What you can do is that if you're at five stacks, you can just delay it as long as possible. And then as you run into the next pack, or as it's about to run off, you just refresh it. Uh, 131k. Not bad that overall so far. Healing's felt good so far, though. He's um, kept everyone really healthy, which is nice. I've had some interesting healers, including myself. I'm trying to heal a little bit. Could have bubbled that. Next boss, we get to pad quite a lot. I say pad. Pad's the wrong word. Like, you actually do want to kill the little lads, but... The shade's going to keep us in combat for quite a long time, so I'm going to make my way to the next pack. Um, but yeah, this pocket anvil's turned into quite a nice like mini game of of trying to keep it up. Like fourteen seconds now to to maintain it before the next pack. Obviously, I'd like to use the unused to hit all the other mobs, but on like one second, so like now, bang, another fifteen seconds, and he'll be here for that. So hopefully, he pulls these, which he is. If they go for me, I'm literally just going to bubble. So I don't want to have to kite. I'd like to do damage while my cooldowns are up. And bang. Everything's dying. Uh, but we're looking very, very good on time. I'm not worried at all. And that should be a really, really easy uh, Keystone Master. Um, so, yeah. I mean, Rogue is definitely one of the contenders. The only issue I have with Rogue is I kind of can't be bothered with, um, like, DPS queues. They've been really, really bad at the moment. Um, but I can definitely see that I would enjoy the Rogue. Uh, DK is an option if I wanted to tank. Uh, Druid's an option if I want to basically play anything. So, not quite sure yet. We'll have to see what happens. Kind of blessing myself out of the trap. I missed my mouse over. That's really bad. Wow. I haven't played retail in a couple of days, and I feel like I might be a little bit rusty, especially on the pally. Again, trying to get as much cleave as possible on these. Get my repent out. So apparently they fix DKs and warriors having very few things to like actually deal with incorporeals. Um, and it just made everything broken, so it's been reverted, which I think is hilarious. It's a proper Blizz thing to do. This is taking a while to die. I presume based on the amount of trash that we've killed so far that we're probably going to try and skip as much as possible to the next boss. Um, it used to become, it was quite a meta thing at one point to share roots, and I suppose it's because it's not, I'm not doing very high keys at the moment, but um, it stopped becoming such a common thing, which is a bit sad, because it's nice knowing what the plan is, where you to use cooldowns and all that good stuffs.
I am interested to see just how much this anvil has done overall, because I feel like I've managed it pretty well in this dungeon. It fell off once, and it's probably going to fall off again between now and the last boss if we don't kill anything else. Hmm. But pretty happy that we're competing with the, the Marksman Hunter. I feel like it's pretty good to, as a representation of how we're doing, especially since he has his four set. Why am I tanking everything? Is he just combat resonant? That's a good play. Oh, okay. We're killing more than I thought up here then. Maybe I would have been able to keep my anvil up. Trying not to pull the extra... Oh, we are literally just killing everything. Oh, this is going to be a fun pull. There's going to be so many diseases that go out here. Yeah, I'm just bubbling. Look, nope. Mm -mm. Get the Dispel on the healer ASAP. I don't know who's getting all these dispels, but they're doing a fantastic job. Oh, can both druids dispel? That'd be really interesting to know, actually. If boomies can dispel as well. If so, this is like the best comp. I think we're actually very likely for a two chest here, which is pretty good. I think we're definitely over pulling slightly uh, based on the fact that like you know we're already done with enemy forces use my cooldowns here i'm pretty sure they'll be back up again before the boss i've got my anvil as well so i should be able to maintain my stacks before we get to the next pack Oof. Druid nearly got, like, one shot then. Uh, everyone's nice and safe at the moment. Get the kick to group them all up. And, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a very, very safe one chest. Maybe a two chest. Kind of depends on how much we can pump in that last phase. No, that last boss. Yeah, not that worried about the shades hitting me at the moment. Oh my god, we're pulling everything. I do like the pacing of this tank though. Like it's been very, very easy to maintain um, just damage and going into things with different cooldowns up and stuff. It's been nice. And bang. Uh, so once I hit Keystone Master. Um, I have kind of got a 80% done rep pally guide for M+. That'll be coming out. And uh, yeah, it's it's going to be good. So, trying to wait for my potion before I put my cooldowns. Oh, he literally died. That's bad. Oh, and we got a destabilize. Oh my god, that's really bad. I can't even get to it. I can't literally do anything. This is super bad. I'm dead as well. We've got another combat res. We can potentially get me up as long as the tank lives. No, he has to get the tank now. Wow. He just pulled it a little bit too quick. Um, and no one dealt with the incorporeal, which I couldn't. I literally couldn't get close enough to it to um, stun it. That sucks a little bit, but... Uh... Oh, we're going to have to run all the way around to the other side, aren't we? 
surely this isn't clear. Yeah, like... What mount is that? Oh, it looks quite cool though. Well, there goes there goes the two chest. One chest should still be really really easily doable. A um, little bit of a shame, but uh, overall the spells. The monk actually got the most of them. I got the second highest. Uh, healing done. Thirty eight point three k. Actually, not massive amounts. But uh, yeah, overall pretty pretty smooth running except for this. Interrupts, yeah, baby. Yeah, I definitely felt like we played okay in this run. Oh, I'm gonna have to restake my anvil, man. Why'd you int me like this? Again, going to be a bit cheeky and like pop my anvil now because we've got these little mobs. I'm going to stay in combat so it doesn't matter and then I can... I'm going to the last boss. No bloodlust this time, so we'll just have to take it nice and easy. Focus on getting the... He keeps pulling when people are outside the room. and It's super dangerous. Move away from the cloud. And big thing on this boss is as soon as that totem comes up, you just got to get on it. I'm going to go and stand over here. Okay, never mind. So I'm a little bit screwed here because I can't actually hit that totem very well. Never mind, I'm just a range class, apparently. So we've got one tick off. Ideally, we don't want to ever let it get a tick off. There we go. And he got, what, 11 stacks? It's not too bad. Move out for the cloud. Mm, hopefully we get this before it does too much. Again, in an ideal world, like if everyone was full pumping here, um, we'd kill that before it does a rot burst. We might get this one. Like I am pumping into this one. No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Lay on hands on the boomy. Did get a little bit low there. Move away from the cloud. It's a very easy boss. Like... The first one is, is easily the hardest boss in here. And it's not particularly hard either, so. Can't get too close to that because the cloud, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to rely on everyone else doing the damage. Oh, I didn't get a stack off. Nice. That is the perfect. My wings have desynced again. I'm going to have to do this, uh, put it on my bars, because I don't know why it keeps desyncing. So like very little damage taken there, because none of us had stacks. Move away from the cloud. It's a very simple boss. Like, it was one that people were worried about, because... Well, certainly this dungeon, anyway, it was one that people was worried about, because it was actually a difficult M0 before people had gear. Um, so people just assumed that it would be a particularly nasty M+, plus, but actually I think it's been well figured out, and it's been one of the better M+, pluses this, this season so far. Trying to blow this up on my own, apparently. I don't know why people just... And we go, Keystone Master, Season 2, there's me mount, 51, I actually over, over uh, did it, and uh, yeah, happy days, so see if we got any loots, we didn't, of course we didn't, and uh, yeah, so thanks guys, um, 
first class down more to come, I guess. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Goodbye.